Hello everyone, welcome to the practice session. Today we'll discuss step four of exercise two. So far we have discussed steps one, two, and three of exercise two. And in exercise two, we are trying to observe the body and the interaction between me and the body, that is the self and the body. So in step one, we try to see that there are two distinct realities, the self and the body, one being the conscious entity and the other being the material entity. In step two, we observe that there's interaction taking place between the self and the body. And this interaction is completely of information. There is no material exchange taking place between the self and the body. In step three, we saw that whatever interaction is taking place between me and the body, it is completely by my decision. So I am sending the instruction to the body, which is my decision. I'm reading the sensations from the body, which is again my decision. Thus, it is completely my decision to interact with the body. I am the seer, I am the doer, and I am the enjoyer, that is experiencer. The body is merely an instrument. Now with this preparation, we can go further to observe ourselves. Now with this preparation, we can go further to study step four. So we'll discuss step four today, and we can see that in this whole process, our observation is becoming sharper we are able to develop ourselves and also we are able to evaluate our preconditionings, our accumulated feelings and thoughts, isn't it? So we are displaying this slide time and again because this is something that we have studied in the previous course as well as in this course. But you need to observe the two realities, the self and the body and the coexistence of the two. Unless you observe it through direct observation, it may only remain as a kind of notion in you, as a kind of assumption in you, and that's why you need to observe the two realities. So when we are observing the interaction between the self and the body, we are able to observe the coexistence. And we are also able to see that there are two distinct realities, the self and the body, one being the conscious entity and the other being the material entity. And then whatever we have studied so far becomes ample clear to us. So we started studying the transaction between self and the body in step two and you could see that the exchange of information here there is no material transaction here so these are the seven steps and in step one you observe that you are there through your imagination and the body is there through your sensation and the self and the body are two distinct realities in step two you observe the interaction between you and the body and you observe that you give instruction to the body and read sensations in the body from time to time as and when required. So one thing that we had made out is that this interaction is not every moment, it is not continuous. It is from time to time as per the need, isn't it? I read the sensations which I consider important and I give instructions which I consider important. In step three, we observe the decision maker and we saw that what instructions are to be passed on to the body are ultimately my decision and what sensations are to be read from the body are, are also my decision. In step three, we observe the decision maker and we saw that whatever instruction is being sent to the body or the sensation that is being read from the body is ultimately the decision of the self, the conscious entity, the body only being a material entity. Now we go further to study the sensation. I hope you are able to understand the meaning of sensation. So whatever activities are taking place in the body are there as sensation. Isn't it? So you can see there are multiple activities taking place in the body. We may or may not be aware. So the breathing is taking place, heartbeat is there, blood is circulating, food is being digested. So many activities are there. If you pay attention, you can get to see these sensations. And there are certain sensations which are happening from time to time. So let's say there is some throbbing in the leg, there is some pinching sensation in your armpit. Okay, there is some itching on the head. So all these are also sensations and we are trying to see the sensation as a pure observer. So now while studying the sensation, we will try to observe the distance between the self and the body. So when I'm reading the sensation taking place in the body, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Or am I at a distance from the sensation? Can I increase or decrease the distance between me and the sensation? Now this is very important to observe because sensations are taking place. And if you're not aware, you may assume yourself to be the body 
and you may assume that the sensations are there in you and you start reacting let's say the foot gets pricked by a thorn while you are walking right and you got a pinching sensation now if you are not aware you may assume that the thorn has hurt you and not your body so you assume yourself to the sensation and start reacting you become anxious you become unhappy you may start even crying or shouting you may react in so many ways so if you are not aware you'll see that many times you assume yourself to the sensation you feel hungry there is some sensation reaching you and you become quite anxious let's say you are going to the mess to have food and you find that the food is yet not prepared and you are feeling hungry and you start shouting upon the mess workers a similar thing may happen at home so there is sensation in the body but you are not the sensation if you are not able to see this then you become so much reactive similarly you can see that you are not in the sensation the sensation is outside you in fact you can see that the body is outside you and that means that you and the body are there at the same location but I, you are the conscious entity the body is a material entity isn't it so the body is outside you the two cannot be the same and the sensation is taking place in the body all those i mentioned are taking place in the body so they are not taking place in you you are reading the sensation by your own choice let's say you are playing football and your foot got pricked by the thorn the same way but you are completely lost in the game you do not pay attention to the pricking sensation after the match is over and then you observe that oh this has happened and then you start crying now what has happened here the sensation was earlier also it is there now also since you were not reading the sensation earlier you did not react or respond to this and now you are reacting to this so you see that the sensation is outside you it is there in the body and the body is also outside you and you are not a part of the sensation you read the sensation because it is at a distance from you and you can read the sensation because you are at a distance from the sensation and you can also increase or decrease the distance between you and the sensation so by doing this exercise you'll see that you are not the sensation you are not in the sensation there is a distance between you and the sensation and you can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where you are at a distance from the sensation now you may assume that there is nothing happening in your palm okay now you start paying attention to your palm and very soon you will see that there is some pulsation say some sensation coming from the palm you may feel that there is nothing happening in the forehead you start paying attention to this and remember that you don't have to use your eyes you just try to pay attention to whatever is happening in your forehead and you become aware of it you can see the pulsation that is there in the forehead or the throbbing that is there in your foot okay or some other kind of sensation in any other part of the body the sensations are there in every part of the body and we can read that sensation by your own choice and we'll see that you are not the sensation you are not a part of the sensation you are outside the sensation so you'll see that there is a distance between the self and the body and i can increase or decrease this distance now this is the important conclusion that we want to draw from here that there is a distance between you and the body you are there at the same location where the body is there but you are not the body and that's how there is a distance between you and the body so the more you try to observe this you get a better clarity of your being different from the body and this is what we want to conclude from here we have studied this we got this proposal we try to verify this we analyze this but now we are trying to observe this directly isn't it so now we have an assignment for this step so observe that sensations are taking place in every part of the body so try to observe your body right from tip of the toe to the uh, top of your head and just see whether sensations are there or not try to pay attention to every part of the body and try to observe the sensation and then try to see whether while you are reading the sensation you are the sensation or you are in the sensation or you are at a distance from the sensation and can you increase or decrease this distance and then note your observations in a journal so you will see that day by day your observation becomes sharper you become more clear of the existence of the self and the body and that's how you also become aware of the presence of two distinct entities two distinct realities in this nature the consciousness and the material and as you said that in the nature there are only two kinds of units one is the consciousness and the other is material and they are submerged in space 
So what we are doing through these exercises, we are preparing ourselves to observe the consciousness as it is, the material as it is, and the relation of the consciousness and the material as it is. So in today's session, we studied how I am different from the sensation, how the sensation is outside me. I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, rather I am at a distance from the sensation. And by this we concluded that I am at a distance from my body. So the body is there as a material entity, I am there as a conscious entity, I am coexisting with the body, but I am not the body. I am at a distance from the body. Now this is very important to observe because many times we try to ensure our happiness by getting some favorable sensation from the body. This is something that we discussed earlier. And we become dependent on the sensation for our happiness. Now if you are able to see that the happiness is there in you, not the body. And that sensation is there in the body, not in you. So now you can see that there is something here by which you try to correlate the sensation to happiness. So it is the self who is going to become happy or unhappy. And the sensation is there in the body. So how do I equate the two? Okay. So by observing this particular thing, we will become more clear about the existence of two distinct realities, the self and the body. And with this preparation, we'll go to discuss step four and we'll try to see how we relate the sensation to our feeling. Thank you.